Hi all. The second part of the mechanical action is going to identify the characteristic elements of the force, the four characteristics of each force. We are going to classify the forces into contact forces and field forces or forces acting from distance. First, the characteristics of the force are the point of application, line of action, and direction and magnitude. The force is represented by a vector whose origin is the point of application and it's applied along the line of action whose direction is given by the flash of the arrow of the vector and whose length represents the magnitude of the force. The first characteristic is the point of application. It's the point where the force starts or originates. It's the origin of the force. As you can see in these three examples, the first uh, drawing, the tension, starts from this point and the normal as well as the weight. The normal force is the force exerted by the support, by the table on the box. And the W vector, which is the weight vector, starts from the center of the ball. Um, we're going to classify the forces as contact forces or forces acting from distance. The contact forces as the force exerted by the spring or the string on the ball, the rope on the ball, is called the tension force. This force starts from the point of contact between the, these are the points of application. The tension starts from the point of contact between the ball, the rope, and the ball. While the normal force, which, the, which is the force which is a contact force, it also starts from the point of contact. While the force acting from distance, which is, which is like the weight, the gravitational force, it, it acts as a, as a, a, without physical contact, starts from the center of the ball or the center of gravi gravity. The second uh, characteristic is the line of action. The line of action is either horizontal, vertical, or oblique. Oblique, uh, upward uh, leaning to the right or leaning to the left. Uh, as in these three figures, the first figure, the line of action is vertical. The, in the second diagram, it's oblique, leaning to the right. And the third diagram, it's also vertical. Regardless of the direction of the vector, now the direction of the vector, it's given by the flash of the arrow of the vector. It's either upwards, downwards, right, left, upwards, right. These are the eighth direction. So the first uh, figure, the tension is upward, the weight is downward, and the normal is upwards to the right. We say upwards, right, or upwards to, right, to the right. The fourth characteristic is the magnitude. What's the magnitude? The magnitude is equal to the strength of the force. So as we increase the force, we push more, we say that the magnitude of the force increases. The SI unit of the force is Newton and its symbol is capital N. We say that F equals 25 Newtons. The magnitude of the force can be measured using a spring balance or a dynamometer. It's called also a dynamometer. The magnitude is represented by the length of the vector. So as the magnitude of the force increases, so will the length of the vector of the force. Now, classifying the forces into two groups, the contact forces, and the forces acting from distance. The contact forces are the forces when the two objects are in physical contact, meaning that they touch each other, while the forces acting from distance are when the two objects do not touch each other. They are also called the field forces, like the magnet, the magnetic field. The magnet creates a field around it. Whenever there is a steel, is near it, it will attract it. Also, the apple above Newton falls on it on his head because of gravity. Gravity is a field force or a force acting from distance. While contact forces, there must be contact between the two bodies. 
as when the man pushes the other one of the other person he must have contact with him so that he can push him so the muscular force exerted is of course a contact force the forces uh, contact forces are muscular force which is the force exerted by the muscles the tension force exerted by the spring or the string the rope the friction force the friction is the force exerted by the rough surface on objects to slow them down and the normal force which is also called the reaction of support this is the force exerted by the support the ground the table or the wall on object to support them this force is called the normal or the reaction of support the three forces acting from distance are the weight which is called the gravitational force the magnetic force exerted by magnets between magnets and between the magnets and the steel iron and other uh, magnetic uh, material and the electrostatic force or the electric force like when you rub your a balloon on your hair with your hair and uh, you just stick the balloon on the wall this force is due to the electrostatic force exerted by the balloon thank you so much and have a nice day